Our local coverage continues now with a sneak peek of a popular tradition in the fall. The Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular kicks off in 24 hours. Thousands of pumpkins carved into works of art will fill Roger Williams Park Zoo. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in the capital city with a preview. It's a Halloween extravaganza like no other. Soon, the Roger Williams Park Zoo will be lined with thousands of pumpkins for the 25th annual Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. We went to one of the carvers to find out what goes into making these gourds come to life. Some of the area's most creative artists are gearing up to put their crafts on display. No, they're not paintings, they're pumpkins. George Nicolopoulos is one of 25 carvers ready for his time to shine at the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. You'll spend anywhere between, say, 2 and 28 hours working on a pumpkin from the initial conceptualization to, of it to the completed carving. In a matter of hours, 5,000 of these pumpkins will be lit and scattered throughout the zoo for onlookers to enjoy. Unlike other works of art, these jack-o'-lanterns come with an expiration date, so carvers are constantly updating the supply. You watch this, your artwork and your time and your process slowly melt away. But there's something really kind of wonderful about that too at the same time there's because there's always the need to create more. The unique display draws crowds from around the nation to the month-long fundraiser event. Last year more than 100,000 people attended. It has got national recognition that's how unusual it is. Folks from all over the country plan their trips to Providence so that they can come and see the show. And even if you've been before you're still in for a new treat. This year's theme all the world's a stage featuring iconic scenes from the movies TV and Broadway. The Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular runs nightly starting on Thursday, running through November 3rd. To find out how you can get tickets, head to our website, WPRI.com. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.